Infowars.com. <laughs> yeah, that's the name of the character. I love it. I can't remember. I set mine to home. Is yours home? No. That's that's something that's aged especially well. What's aged? Like the name Infowars.com. That's aged especially well. <laughs> no, I know, totally. Well, Remember so. Infowars? He was a guy that was on the internet. I mean, it's an even better joke now, now that it doesn't exist. Where are you going now? I mean, it does still exist, but it basically doesn't it because every platform they have apart from oh, the I wonder what they is now down there's going to be. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm actually really interested to see what they're going to do with Ceaseless. Do you know what else I like about this whole Infowars being oh, taken down everything thing? Nay bonfire here, lad. Do you, know what, do you know what else I like about like this, all this Infowars shit being what? taken down? It really annoys Paul Joseph Watson, and that makes me happy, because he's a cunt. I thought you'd have liked Paul Joseph Watson. Nah, he's a condescending oh, he's, he's really irritating. Yeah. See, I agree with a lot of his views, but I do Obviously him, you do. I find him so irritating. There's bonfire. Yeah, but I'll be come back, so it's really no point. Like, there's, there's folks on the internet I watch their shit despite disagreeing with them. Sure, There's sure. folks on the internet that I don't watch despite agreeing with them. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is, like... I just feel that see if he was less incredibly smarmy about it. Oh, I know, I know. Like, there's definitely a part of how people respond to you is how you're presenting the information oh, as well. Yeah, absolutely. he presents it in a way where he's just talking like, to people. I'm like, right. Fuck you, liberals. Is he every every Muslim? Fuck the lie. He <laughs> 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 complains about spoiled rich kids when he's quite clearly the spoiled rich kid. Like, it's oh, obvious oh, that he was born with a silver spoon so up far up fucking colon. Like. Well, who do you think is the worst out of the lot? Like, you've got Sargon, Paul Joseph, Count Dankula, Milo. See, I'm okay, with, I'm, okay, I'm okay with Sargon. Ben Shapiro. Sargon doesn't bother me. Nah, either. Ben Shapiro kind of bothers me. I find him Jesus kind of Christ, look well. at Ceaseless. Um, uh, yeah, Ben Shapiro can go fuck himself. Dude, um, I'm, you I'm, just hate Jewish people. But, but his sister bought me. Oh said, my God, have you seen Ben Shapiro's sister? Yeah, Swiss? she's into porn. Oh, man. Yeah. She is bagging. No, absolutely. She's absolutely. apparently bringing shame to the entire family and he blocks you on Twitter if you ask him about it. Oh, she's bringing all Here, do you want me to this fucking oh, family? Tony, do you want me to use my uh, trolling Twitter to just tweet Ben Shapiro? Can I fucking bang your sister? Nah, no, just, just notes, tweet, please. tweet at Ted Cruz. Go send him some long-winded diatribe. <laughs> send him that <laughs> Ted Cruz is the Zodiac killer shit. No, 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 you have to go on there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Yep, I love, to, that's one of my favourite things that's happened on the internet in a long time. Ted Cruz is the Zodiac killer. Go on and on and on. They made t-shirts. Who's they? They. The people who start, like, see when the Ted Cruz is the Zodiac Killer Oh shit, started, that's the wrong Twitter. A bunch of, like, custom t-shirt shops jumped on the bandwagon and just started making <laughs> Ted Cruz is the Zodiac Killer t-shirts. And they were fucking great. How did that come up, though? I can't remember. Because it just came up the, because of the election. The, the, the artist's rendition of the Zodiac Killer from Witnesses right. um, looks exactly, <laughs> exactly like he does now. Right, so how am I wording this to Ben Shapiro? I don't care. Uh, but, I, no, no, no. How do you word this? How do we get nudes of your sis? Um, oh, just ask if his sister has an OnlyFans. How much money do I have to pay you for your sister to breastfeed me every night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, your so what was that? How much money? How much money do You've I? You've got a joke. Just work around it. Need to give you for your sister to breastfeed me. What was the last part? Every night. <laughs> Whatever you want, man. The, the joke's already there. Every night. For the rest of eternity. Uh, so now that kind of. No, no, we need, we need um, do something Jewish, and it's some, something anti-Semitic needs oh, to be. Oh right, so uh, I have a bad. Oh no, breastfeed me uh, oh, um, every night of Hanukkah. No, until <laughs> the next Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I write spastic Hanukkah? <laughs> to be more epic. Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like I write. No, they'll just report you and then your Twitter gets deleted. You want, to, you want to get if blocked, you say not that, deleted. The police will be at that door within the hour. <laughs> I mean, are you live in Britain. You get jailed for that. That is true. Yeah. You get a fine at least eight hundred quid. At all oh, correct handle. I don't know. Uh, right. So, how much do I need to pay you to get your sisters? Um, is there any kind of like specific Jewish milk? To get your sister to breastfeed me up some of that delicious, delicious. Um, What's it called? Um, what's I could just say, like, I've what? killed many Jews and have many bags of gold oh, that you love. Kosher, kosher milk. milk. Oh, yeah. Just get, your, get your sister to breastfeed me some of that delicious, delicious kosher <laughs> milk. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> gonna end up in a fucking, like, Vice article. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna end up in a Vice article. Can you just do me a favour and never mention me by name in these videos? <laughs> okay, Sam. Do you remember when That's we gave fine. out... That's Do you remember fine. when we gave out... You're, uh, did, 
Did did we not give out a name and address in the Oblivion playthrough? No, yeah, it was, our address. It was, yeah, it was, it was, Souls play, it was in the Demon Souls playthrough. Our character name was Sam's phone number. <laughs> 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 I never got a call for it. That's incredible, by the way. It must, I just don't it think it'd be noticed. Like an old number or yeah, something. I was going to say it might be an old. Nobody number. noticed because it, it didn't appear much because we didn't we cut out leveling up and shit like that a lot. Yeah, that's true. You know that we are, but we are hilarious. It, n- it's funny. It it's not your number anymore, so it's, it's fine. There was no harm that came of it, and it's exactly advanced. no harm, I'll no foul. I'll allow it. Yeah, I'll retroactively allow <laughs> it. Uh, why are you standing in a tunnel with it? <laughs> you why, why aren't you just running right, that yeah. partner? I don't think it is. Oh, we could we could mix in Palestine with us. Something along the lines of, <laughs> uh, would you rather um, Palestine I'd dealt suck. with the hands of the Jews, or would you rather I get erase spent? all your sister's pawn from I'd it? I'd suckle on that guy. Wait, what's it? If you know what I mean. <laughs> What's like the Palestinian flag? What does it look like? It's the Star of David with a blue line at top, blue line at the bottom. That's not the fucking blue. Palestinian flag. <laughs> right, so there it is. Yeah, there it is, Tony. And to everyone else. <laughs> there is it. <laughs> oh, no, you know what we'll do? No, we'll do it, right? We'll coincide the uploading with this, of this video with. Um, that tweet? With that tweet. So and when this video has been uploaded, back. 20 minutes after this is uploaded, right? Or however far into this, right? We'll time it. After the video is uploaded, we'll tweet everyone that and then everybody go and retweet it as hard as possible. <laughs> I'm That's pretty sure this is against. Right. I'm pretty sure this is inciting a mob. Right. I'm pretty <laughs> sure this is like directing a hate campaign. You're not right. allowed to do that. Oh, it doesn't get any worse for us at this point. Fuck it. Right. Yeah, we're going to jail anyway. Well, right, so I've saved it as a draft. <laughs> so we'll do it on the night then, I guess. I'm pretty sure this is the one thing that does make us responsible for what our fans or followers do on Twitter because we're directing an attack at someone. No, we're just asking someone sure to like a tweet. No, we're, just, we're just saying that we are tweeting at that point. Ben Shapiro is a wealthy Jewish man. You do this, you are fucked as the most powerful lawyers in the world. <laughs> Rape that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> they find me first. They'll find you. That's my, my bam up Twitter. I got banned for Team Four Star. Yeah, I fucking, what's his face? Rogue Doc. No, Gary Docs to meet a rogue. They all know where we live. No, he doesn't know where we live. He knows where you work. Ah. They're dying to know where you live. Oh, it's sure weird that. that Discord just want to know your address so badly. And they probably just want to fucking send me anthrax or something. <laughs> <laughs> just send you several dog's head in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, somebody fucking does a drive-by and launches no, if a it's frozen r- horse's head through the window. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just launch Rogue through the window and say, like, I'm in! Run, run. So what I was thinking would be a good way to like, brick in somebody's car window with like a brick of your own piss. <laughs> and then that way it just melts and it's <laughs> if the... Somehow no, 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 no. you said it was posted through the letterbox. Ah, you just post p- a brick of piss through the letterbox as well. <laughs> what, what you do is you just get like a, a big this is where the resealable bag. A what? You, a big resealable bag and you fill it up with spaghetti. That was the one I was thinking of. And a big resealable bag, Ziploc bag full of spaghetti. Right. And you jump, you drop it off like a bridge above a motorway. Right. So the speed that the car's going at, that's going to go through our window. Spaghetti <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> You know, yeah, I've, I've actually had a, ten people in the ensuing pile up with spaghetti. I've, I've actually had a dream about spaghetti once. Then they banned him. Oh, of course, you <laughs> dream about spaghetti. Then no, they no, banned the way that you're thinking. So, oh, I'm not in the way I'm thinking. No, no I don't think they they make spaghetti blunter. No, that will so solve the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so in this dream, I was just driving a truck. <laughs> no, no, you mean less dense. Yeah, more air. Hashtag you air that spaghetti. That's how they plan to help combat night crime. Knife crime is by knife making crime. knives blunter. <laughs> As if that's going to stop someone getting stabbed. Ah, but Stephen, no one in London needs a knife. No one. I think at this point, everyone in London might need a knife. There's been so a lot of knife what you're, stuff what, you're saying, what you're saying is that we should give everybody in London a knife. No, we should give everyone in London an AR-15 or some shit. <laughs> no, they need a that license the for the knives. so much safer. What's he doing? And they need to insure them like a car. It's for work and cooking purposes only. It's actually crazy that, like, if you any, if any of you ever watched any drill music videos... No. Like, they oh. know who's doing the crime. They know. Like, they, they admit to it. They're all admitting to it on camera. Rapping. Hey, hey. Well, it's, it's performance, man. It's performance. It's not, man. You don't know that. Will I show him some <sighs> drill? I'm, I, I literally, there isn't a single drill song that doesn't reference somebody being stabbed. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Yeah. He's not wrong. Does. Or shooting someone. Right, well, <laughs> that's that part. So the next part will be Sense Fortress, and I think it'll be you doing Sense Fortress. I'll do sense, I like sense. Okay, I'll get some sense. That's fine by me. Okay. I'll do Anor Orlando. Of course, the game man wants to get in about the snakes. 
Fuck yes, next. Do you know that there's some possible trivia that links um, Nameless King into Sen's Fortress? Really? Okay, go on. Yeah. So the snake men that inhabit Sen's Fortress are all over the Nameless King's area. That he has snake men. So it sure. implies that he's in charge of them. Which could imply that his name at some point could have been Sen. Because it's Sen's Fortress. It's a bit tenuous. But there might be more is, than one group of snake is, men in the world. <laughs> the thing is as well, though, the, the thing is, is, the other thing is that because he's the nameless king, he's been a, he's been around for eons and shit like that. There's a possibility that he's also been known as the god Faram. So that's like the Faram set in Dark Souls too. Like I, 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 I hate it. But he, no, because they worshipped a god of war because they're from the land of Ferosa. They worshipped the god of war, and he is the only actual named god, um, that would fit this description because every other god is mentioned deliberately because like Belk is mentioned deliberately and shit like that. Right. So he's the only other deliberately named god that doesn't have a following, which would make sense for Ferosa to be his following, the Faram guys, because they worshipped a god of war and that's what he was. Interesting. Well, okay. There's also a little bit of brainstorming that this one is just this is a complete shit theory, but it's also kind of it's, it's kind of interesting where the nameless king died and that is Ornstein because the nameless king aligned himself with dragons, right? Right. Um, Onstein aligned himself with dragons because in Dark Souls 2, Scholar anyway, he has a dragon guard in his boss arena. And they have similar weapons. Yeah, and also, Onstein's armour in that area isn't on a body, it's just an item placement, which means it's been discarded. I guess. So it you could be that Onstein, Onstein has taken the mantle of the Nameless King to continue the Raid of the Guard. Honestly, I think that's, it's an a, that's a more theory, compelling But theory. there's so little to hold it together, though. Like, it's there's all so just... little to hold anything in Dark Souls. No, I know, but the, the, the really like, interesting thing about like the Nameless King is that if they gave us one more piece of important information about him, we could probably figure out exactly who he is. But at hey, this point, we're just guessing. That's just a game theory. <laughs> <laughs>